What is up, everypony? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at Toko Miller's MLP Horror Virus AU, the Mind Virus. Now, I just got to say, the Mind Virus is tied for first place when it comes to my personal favorites when it comes to these AUs. It's tied with Scopophobia. But I really, really like this virus, and I've been waiting to get around to it, and a lot more people have been like, please do the Mind Virus again. Please do the Mind Virus again. So I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to what everybody has been requesting, and we're going to be doing the Mind Virus today. But before we do the Mind Virus, I would like to give a shout out to a very special friend of mine. This is a very good friend of mine known as Mechanical Nightmare Fox MNF. He's a very good friend of mine, and he's been there for me quite a bit. He's been very supportive ever since I met him a little bit under a year ago. By the way, I'm not subscribed because I'm on my music channel. Let me change that. But if we go look at his content, right? He has a few videos based on like reactions. He does uh, vlogs. He does gaming. He does a lot of stuff and he just wants to get his content put out there. And I know he's been trying really hard. Not only that, he does a lot of editing and content creation on other channels with friends as well. And if you want to see what those are, I'm sure he will gladly show you. So go down into the description and subscribe to my boy. Give him some assistance on his YouTube channel. Let's get him the 400, four subscribers away. Let's get him there and help him continue to keep growing. Enough talk. We're back on this. But before we get into that, I want to say one more thing about the shout outs. I've had a lot of people asking me to shout them out. I'm not going to be doing subscriber shout outs at the moment. At the current moment, I'm only shouting out friends. That will change when I get to around 40k through 50k subs. I will eventually start doing subscriber shout outs every time I make an MLP horror video. But we got to wait until we get there and we got to hope this AU train continues. But I've been really excited to get back into this. I've been really, really excited. So let's take a look at what we got here. So where did we left off? We left off at the mind virus part 11. So let's take a look. We're going to pause the audio and I'm just going to add my own music to the video because I feel like it's easier and TikTok auto scroll really pisses me off. I am tired of this. Why are you really sitting as well as nothing happened? Silver Spoon has been gone for three days. Why are you silent about this? Are you so cruel because you don't like her? One more loud word and I'll throw her out the door. Stop thinking that you call the shots, Apple Bloom. You're definitely not the one who should be leader. Is it true? So tell me, why are you here now, in relative warmth, in relative safety, thanks to my treehouse on my property? You were lucky, Scootaloo, and I let you in along with Silver Spoon. You were kind of making fun of us for not having cutie marks. How ironic. Quite by accident, we switched places. Now the cutie mark doesn't have such a big role, does it? If you are silent, it means you agree with everything I said. Apple Bloom, that's enough. She already apologized for bullying in the past. There is no need to put yourself above others. We are friends after all. Guys, please let me in. They are running for me, please. All right, now we got some pretty good little fan art here. Um, got Rarity, Fluttershy, got Twilight. We also got uh, Pink Amina in her form. So let's continue, shall we? Mind Virus Part 12. Are you wearing a mask? There's a lot of black mold in here. It's dangerous to inhale, so we won't be here long. I don't want to stay in these woods much longer, Nash. What clues do you think Zakora might have left behind? Like this diary. It's a little bloodstained, though, but that's okay. It's something that should help us. Zakora's not stupid. She left something behind. She left in a conspic conspicuous place. Anyway, we need to read it out loud. This is the first page of this diary. I'm writing it for the purpose of informing other ponies if something happens to me. There seems to be something wrong with the forest. Lately, I've been feeling something strange about it. The silence that is not typical of the forest has started to bother me. Animals began to behave strangely. That there, even insects fly strangely. And I decided that I could somehow help these poor creatures. Began to look for herbs but here just decided to approach the animal and she with strange sounds bit me. So I'm the first person to be infected by something unknown. Not much time has passed since then. 
The hue of my fur has become more faded. I feel headaches. I feel nauseous. My walking has become disturbed. I've been walking strangely. I can't even speak clearly. I don't know what's wrong. A lump has started to grow in my chest. I don't want to touch it and I can't. I'm scared. If it's the disease, it's a very serious one. I just hope it doesn't spread to Ponyville or anywhere else. I wish I could contain it somehow, but that's problematic. I don't know anything about this disease, but recently a situation happened that worries me a lot. Hello, Zakora. Twilight sent me to see you. She said she has, you have an interesting flower she needs for practicing a spell. I, uh, sorry, there's something wrong with me. Uh, Zakora, are you sick? I guess I am. By the way, there's a strange lump in your chest and you look sickly in general. I should probably get going. Wait, I, I need, I need to say something. I must hurry, Zakora. I'll find the flower myself. Oh. Ah, Zakora, why did you bite me so hard? What's wrong with you? Sorry, the forest, it's dangerous. Don't go ho there. Home, go home. Of course I will, it really hurts. Oh, damn. After this incident, I am worried for Spike's well-being. Could I have infected him in this way? My condition is getting worse every day. The pain is unbearable. I can barely write the pages of this diary. But there is one thing that eases my burden, and that is the Tranquilla flower. I gather the petals and chop them into crumbs. I grind the pistols and stamen, er, stamens. Add some crumbs from the petals, and then I add water. Boil it just a little and drink it. It gets a little easier. The nausea recedes, and the headaches are not so terrible. I can at least walk better after this flower. I will write as long as I can. I will write every day, every hour, every minute, to whoever reads this diary. If I fail, please pass it on to someone who can really help everyone. Someone who can cure this. I hope and believe that. I just want to hope that my sacrifice will not be in vain. That my knowledge and my writings will help. In turn, I will try to do my best to overcoming this terrible pain and weakness. The worst of it all is the terrible pressure it puts on my mind. I feel worthless. I feel helpless. It's all terrible. And this disease has touched me mentally as well. If this disease doesn't have a name, I'll give it one. Call it the mind virus. Next, Zakora writes about the course of her condition. At the end of her notes, she just couldn't write anymore, asking for someone to put her out of her misery. It, it's really unfortunate that this happened to Zakora. She was really in pain, trying to find a cure for her ailment. What difference does it make? It seems like she wanted the journal to go to someone smart. Sounds like she means Twilight. Imagine how much profit that diary would make. I hope you're kidding. You want to take advantage of something that could save a lot of ponies' lives, Dash? When did you become like this? We're not working to kill, we're trying to protect ponies and also find a cure. Maybe, but I want to teach that purple boar a lesson. I hope you won't get in my way, Pinky. Pinky's thoughts. Of course I'm gonna stay out of your way, Dash. Before you know it, that journal will be gone from you, unlike you. I never betrayed Twilight, I truly wish to find her. I wish to live a normal life again, not a murderous one like you. Twilight, just wait, I'll find you. Now we got some Rainbow Dash art. Rarity art, nice, nice. Moving on to part 13. Miss Cheerly is following me. Please let me in, Tiara. Tell her to open the door. Oh my God, she is here. Oh my God, poor Silverspoon, we can't help her. Don't talk nonsense, Scootaloo. We wouldn't be able to help her anyway. In three days, she became a monster. I'm sure she was bitten on the first day. How can you even say that? Silverspoon can still be saved. She may still be alive. Bloom, stop her. I don't want to die. No, why? Let's watch her get torn apart. It's so exciting, right, Tiara? Why do you say that, Apple Bloom? Do you really not feel an ounce of pity for her? She went there to certain death to get us food, and you don't feel sorry for her one bit. I just wanted to hurry you up, but you were such a coward that you deliberately stalled for time. Look out the window. Your friend, even if she was infected, was torn to pieces. We'll wait until Miss Cheerly leaves, and let's take Spoon's backpack. Damn, Apple Bloom's like taking this shit really seriously. Pause. Damn it. 
Look, Scootaloo, so much food and water. Silver spoon. I'm sure even when she was infected, she went to the store and brought us food. It's amazing how a little filly could carry so much canned food. I want you to know, Tiara, the real Silver Spoon would not have come to us asking to come inside as she knew she was infected. It was no longer Silver Spoon. She loves you so much that she hardly came to put you in danger. Oh, by the way, I think it belongs to you. Your favorite flavor is strawberry. She knows this better than anyone else. Oh, that's sad. That's really sad. Scootaloo's status is healthy. Uh, survives with classmates in a treehouse. She has painkillers and a picture of her in Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is strong. She'll take me and the girls. Honestly, I don't like the way Apple Bloom talks to Tiara. Rest in peace, Spoon. I hope Sweetie Belle is safe. Health is 60%. Sanity is 55%. Thirst is 70%. Hunger is 90%. And she's feeling relatively well. Fell on the glass while escaping from Miss Cheerley. Apple Bloom has an axe and apple juice in her inventory. Her status is healthy. Survives with classmates in a treehouse. I'll make you proud of me, Applejack. I will protect you. I'm not cruel. I'll look at the situation soberly. As long as our home is there, we are safe. Dirt. It pisses her off. And she also hit a tree limb while running away from Miss Cheerley. Health is 80%, sanity is 100%, thirst is 90%, hunger is 90%, and she takes responsibility for Scootaloo and Tiara. Diamond Tiara looks like she has a box cutter and a journal with Hello Kitty writings on it, or Hello Kitty designs. Status is healthy, survives with a classmate, or with classmates in a treehouse. As soon as we get out, we'll find wet wipes. I'm so hungry. Mom, where are you? Someone will definitely help us. She has a small wound. The patch was given by Apple Bloom. Health is 57%, reason is 49%, thirst is 30%, and hunger is 20%. Messy hair, lost tiara, and dirty hooves. Fair enough. My dear Cadence, are you sure that we are doing the right thing by closing the borders? We have not received accurate information. This is strange. In Twilight, she's in Ponyville. I'm worried about her. I myself am not sure of my actions, you know. Celestia's sudden letter. The loss of all communication with Ponyville and Canterlot. This worries me. Only Cloudsdale gets in touch, that's all. And I understand your concern for Twilight. I miss her too. Her letters, and in principle her presence. We only have the Crystal Empire. We have no connection with another civilization. Please, Shining Armor. Tell me that you managed to tell her. She must know what she is fighting for. I'm pissed up with your inaction, sister. Why does close the borders mean? You ordered her to do this. You ordered Cadence to be closed from us, depriving all help. Damn it, Celestia. You, we, are Alicorn. We are impossible to any kinds of viruses. That's why we are long-lived. Do you want to leave your pony to fate if you are going to leave? Dear sister, please don't jump to conclusions. All I can think about in my head right now is how to save ponies. We, we can burn the Everfree Forest, but then the flames may be too big. Yes, and this does not give guarantees. The ponies are infected. The vast majority, I... My biggest fear is for Canterlot. The barrier will protect us still, but... What if we accept an infected person as a refugee? Spike hasn't delivered me letters since the beginning of all this. My dear student, my twilight, we will build a city isolated from everything. We'll build it. We will protect the pony. Pause. Damn it. Darling, thanks Celestia. Twilight sent me a letter. Not through Spike, but never mind. Come here, let's read it. Dear Cadence, I beg you to forgive me for such a long absence. I doubt that one scroll will be enough to describe all the pain I have felt during my absence. I don't know if you or Shining Armor are aware, but there is a virus in Ponyville. A terrible and horrible one. Please do not put yourself in danger. Run away. Far away. Until I or someone else sends a letter saying it's over. Spike is no longer with me. I've lost all contact with Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie. I just can't find them. I hope they are still alive. I recently found Rarity and Sweetie Belle. Sweetie is immune, and I intend to give her a vaccine. Please keep yourself and the Empire safe. Love, Twilight. 
Uh-oh, she looks concerned. The Crystal Empire's completely closed its borders. The Crystal Empire is secure. That's the end of season one. Hoo-hoo-hoo! And we got some fan art, some pretty good looking fan art at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. Now we're moving on to the rest, because like I said, actually, you know what? You know what? We just did episode 16, right? We're going to do another video on season two so I can have three parts to this series. I think that's a good idea. So we're going to do season two in the next video. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine either way. And I will link this in the description. I enjoyed the rest of season one. I feel really, really bad for Zakora. I'm sure when she bit Spike, it wasn't out of the fact she intentionally meant to do it. I think because of the fact that's entitled the mind virus, something took over her mind and made her bite Spike without her paying attention to her own actions. Which is why I feel so bad for Zakora when I read that. Because I don't think Zakora was fully responsible if it was her own decision. Not only that, Rainbow Dash is an absolute prick, as expected sometimes with these AUs, because I've already seen a few AUs where they made Rainbow Dash a complete asshole. And Pinkie Pie being a good guy who's doing everything that she can to fight for the ponies in Ponyville and Canterlot to keep everyone safe to try to get that cure, clearly there's going to be something to have to do with Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie getting into an altercation. At least, I assume. But anyway, I really like this story, I like how it's going, and I'm really glad I got to finish the rest of Season 1. And that's all I really gotta say for this video. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't. This will be linked in the description as always. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck on life, I can't even make this perfect time. And I'm always sad, don't